Hello boys and girls, moms and dads, friends, family, all my supporters. Hope you're all well today. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about chinchillas. Okay, so boys and girls, moms and dads, firstly over here, you can see I've got their foods over here and their treats over here. So when it comes to chinchillas, boys and girls, if ever you want to get one as a pet, you've got to remember you've got to give them their proper diet, which consists of the main food over here which is their food that you give them every day so you can see it's a nice mix of jungle oats a nice mix of different foods over there and then when it comes to their treats you can give them either nutrific or wheat bix doesn't really matter and then you can give them jungle oats which is great to mix in with their food very very good for their treats and another thing big boys and girls when it comes to chinchillas, you've got to remember that they need to have their bath. So what you can do is you can get the bathing sand like this. It's nice and soft, very grainy. Now what happens is the chinchillas will bath in there and it keeps their, their, their fur nice and soft, oil-free, dirt-free. So it's very important once a week, let them take their bath. And what happens then is after they finish bathing, take out the bowl with the, with the sand and remove it and take it out of the cage because what happens is your chinchillas will use it as a litter litter tray same as a cat does so in regards to your chinchillas they are part of the rodent family they are one of the longest living rodents they can live anything up to 25 years so considering your your hamsters your mice and your rats live on average between two to about five years your chinchillas do live very very long so they are one of the longest living rodents now chinchillas have one of the softest furs their, their, their fur is amazingly soft that bathing sand helps to keep their soft their, their fur soft and oil free and dirt free okay now when it comes to chinchillas they are part of the mammal family you can see there is a chinchilla over there now mammals as we all know they are warm-blooded and they do have live young so what happens with chinchillas they have on average anything between one to about four babies and their babies will suckle off them for about six to seven weeks from there they can go to their new home and be rehomed so chinchillas they originate from south america so they do come from very very cold regions now remember if ever you want to get a pet chinchilla or you do have a pet chinchilla you should know that chinchillas don't like the heat they have to be in a cold, cool spot somewhere in your house, away from direct sunlight. They can overheat very, very quickly, so it's very crucial and very important that chinchillas may not be in the heat. Now, when it comes to chinchillas, I've got daddy over here and I've got a baby. I'm going to show you guys both of them. All right, so I'm going to start off with daddy. Okay, let me show you what daddy looks like. This is daddy chinchilla. As you can see, daddy chinchilla is nice and white. Pure white, very, very soft. Like I explained, the fur is amazingly soft. All right, there you go. So that's your daddy chinchilla. Okay, so you can see their fur is really, really soft. I can't really explain it to you. They do have one of the softest furs out of any other animal. And what happens with these guys, they bathe, they roll around in their bathing sand, and that's what keeps their fur so soft. Now, very important with a chinchilla, never, ever let water go into your chinchilla so in other words never ever bath them in in water reason being it does mess up their fur their fur won't be as soft and nice as what it is okay so that's daddy chinchilla now boys and girls when it comes to your chinchillas like i said they do originate from south america so they do come from very very cold regions okay so very important keep them well away from heat they do overheat with their thick fur that they do have okay and believe it or not with a chinchilla they don't have any any smells or odors like your other rodents do so the nice thing is obviously you have to keep the enclosure clean but let's say you have a busy schedule you have meetings or you got a lot of homework or you got exams and you can't clean out the enclosure right now it's not a train smash remember they don't have any smells or odors so you can do it next week if you have to all right but remember you have to still clean out the enclosure same as you do with any of your other pets another important thing with a chinchilla 
Same as your other pets, they do require fresh food, fresh water. And remember with a chinchilla, their bedding consists of hay, all right? So that's basically what they would nibble on and, and sleep in. And at the same time, you need to give them some lucerne, which is very good and high in vitamin C. What happens is they like to gnaw, so they'll gnaw on that, and that's what keeps their teeth trimmed. So being a rodent, their teeth constantly grow. They have the urge to constantly chew on things. So the lucerne and your rye grass and wheat grass helps to keep their, their teeth nice and trimmed. And that way they don't have that urge to constantly chew on things. So remember, in regards to their toys, you must remember to never ever buy them toxic or plastic toys. And at the same time, be careful when it comes to wooden toys. Not all wood is safe for your pets. So make sure your the wood that you do get is safe for your pets. And especially your chinchillas, because they constantly have the urge to gnaw on the wood. All right. Now, remember, boys and girls, with your chinchillas, they... Their lifespan, like I said, is around 25 years. So remember, before you get them, do all your research on your chinchilla. Do your research on any pet that you, you would like to get or, or add into your home. Remember, all of them have their, their needs and their requirements. And you've got to make sure that you give them the right housing, everything that they need, their husbandry, their diet, everything is very, very important when it comes to getting any type of pet. Okay, so boys and girls, in regards to your chinchillas, I'm going to show you guys a baby now. This is one of the babies. There you go. Okay, this is one of the babies that, that, that daddy has with him. All right. This is one of the babies. This little baby is more or less about a week and a half, two weeks old. So remember... Babies, they have to be with their mom for at least six to seven weeks. So before they can go to their new home. All right. So remember, it's very important. This little guy is still very, very young. I can't describe the feeling of the fur. So soft. It's amazing. Amazingly soft. Cut little baby. There you go. Oh, look at that little guy. Look at that little baby. This one is a gray one. So you can see very, very different to dad. Okay, there you go. See, beautiful, full of energy, full of beans. See, this little guy just wants to run around and do his own thing. Okay, now remember, in regards to your chinchillas, they are nocturnal. So, boys and girls, remember nocturnal meaning that they like to sleep during the day and they're very, very active at night. So, remember, if ever you want to get a chinchilla or any rodent for that matter, that matter remember that they are nocturnal. So while you're trying to sleep at night, these little guys are active and they're running and they're going crazy. And remember, you're trying to sleep. While you're at school in the day, you while you're at school in the day, you must remember these guys are, are busy sleeping. So they sleep while you're busy in the day. And then at night, they're running around and they're extremely active at night. Okay. There you go. Let's put baby back. Okay, so boys and girls, please remember those of you that don't have chinchillas and you and you would really really like to get a chinchilla remember do your research on them remember that they do have certain requirements requirements they are very basic creatures to look after they're amazing pets but they do have their requirements unlike any other pet that you do get so remember boys and girls i'm i'm doing the shows for you guys today i'm educating you guys on the chinchilla i'm going to have other shows over the other days to come this is to help you big boys and girls to stay indoors and to be safe. Please stay indoors. Be safe at all times. Always remember after you've been touching your pets, always remember to wash your hands as well. And now during this crucial time with this pandemic, always make sure your hands are clean and that type of thing. Okay, so boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.